Hey everybody, it's Blah Blah Peas, and welcome to the finale of Kingdom Hearts Rechained Memories Reverse Rebirth and Rechained Memories as a whole. Once we go through this door, we'll be facing the last world and the last boss. This entire episode is going to be mostly cutscenes, but let's get right into it. Gosh, I guess you decided not to go to sleep. How'd you know that? I heard it from Diz. <gasps> Do you know him? Well, I'm not sure. Got a feeling that I've met him somewhere. Hey. Who are you? I could be nobody, or anybody. It is up to you whether you choose to believe in me or not. Boy, you really like pushing decisions on other people. And you have pushed away slumber, making the choice to face Ansem. Do you think I'm reckless? You have chosen your own path. Are you supporting me? Or are you abandoning me? That will be your choice as well. What's this? The organization will pursue you. Like a pack of hunting dogs, they will sneak up on you if they sense your presence. However, this cloak that is worn by nobodies will render their eyes and their noses useless. The ears, not so. They wear this to give themselves protection from being devoured by darkness. Is it clear? Even the organization cannot rule the darkness. Doesn't matter. I won't run from the darkness. Hmm. The card will draw out your heart's darkness. Finish your business with Ansem. Come on. Let's go. And now... For the world of Castle Oblivion. Mickey, what's up? Gosh, it sure feels like I've met Diz somewhere before. Eh, we'll get into that in the next game, probably. He said this card will draw Ansem out. Don't worry. We can defeat him together. Sorry. I've got to face him alone. But why? There's no point in doing this if I can't do it on my own. But I do need a favor. If Ansem is the victor, he is going to enslave me. If that happens, use your powers to destroy- Of course! I'll be right there to save you. Huh? No, th that's not it. I want you to destroy- No way! No matter what happens, I'm gonna be right there to help you. I promise you that. Unless you don't believe I'll come through for you. I choose to believe in you. Always, Your Majesty. And I in you. You're not gonna lose. I know it. Thanks. All right, no help from Mickey, huh? You never let the darkness get the best of you, I'm sure of that. Well, if Mickey can't help us, then that means Mickey can't heal us, which means we have no way of healing, which means this better be a perfect fight, right, Riku? That's basically what you're saying right now. Just saying. Oh, and also, uh, now that I think about it, that whole um, comment I made about Diz in the next game, the game after that, Kingdom Hearts 2. We're doing days after this. A 
Ransom! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> Why in such a hurry? I'll be here at the very heart of darkness. Watching you plunge into the same darkness inside of you. <laughs> Final key of beginnings. Which again should really just be the key of endings. The previous world was the only world that had the key of guidance, except for the very first world. The first world was Hollow Bastion, and we had the key of beginnings, key of guidance, and key of truth. Since then, nothing but the key of beginnings until the second to last world. Oh boy, hi, I, I didn't see you coming. Um. I just wanted to point out, this is the world. Three rooms. Nothing like Sora's mode. So with that said, throw out a one and open the room. Next door is gonna be a two or higher. And then the final room is gonna be whatever's required to actually get through the key door. That's it. That's the world of Castle Oblivion. Not big at all. And I wasn't kidding when I said I could basically do the rest of the game with nothing but the roulette room cards without even doing the grinding that I thought I was going to use them for. I never used the roulette room cards to grind for anything but one blue card that was a zero. That was it. Oh, excuse you. I kind of meant to hit triangle by the door, but I guess I was too far away from it. But... Here's a decent chance to get a look at my deck before I go into the fight, which, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yep, this is exactly the deck that you get from the Castle Oblivion floors. The Castle Oblivion world and floor deck is exactly the same. Which, funny enough, is my favorite deck. Because you get to spam Dark Aura. There's like six nines in your deck. And the fact that only the first one disappears, like you can use a lot of dark auras. And then this does not matter at all, but let's just, I just stopped at whatever random one I was on at that given second. Does not matter what I get at all right now. Cause the final door has a requirement of 13. There is some importance behind the number 13, but the fact that the previous key door was 50 and that this is only 13 with no extra, it's just weird. But that's it. This is the last door. No more map cards. This is the final door. I smell you, Ansem. Show yourself. I have watched you fight. I know your strength. Your skill with darkness has grown. It has become more mature. And yet why? Why do you accept the darkness, but still refuse me? You know you and I are similar. We both follow where the darkness leads. Indeed, we are the same. So why? Does some part of your heart still have a fear of the dark? That's not it. The truth is... I just can't stand your foul stench. You are a fool. You should know my powers well by now. Yeah, I know. Or did you forget? I used all the power you had to give, and Sora still beat me. I'm not at all impressed with your powers. Very well. In that case, you shall sink into the abyss! Alright, 
Ansem, do you even realize how pathetic you are? Let's think about this for a second. He uses or is trying to use a teenage boy to do his evil bidding. But then when the boy refuses to listen to him, he tries to beat him up with his guardian. Like what? Like the fact that the thing is literally called a guardian, like it's there to protect you. It's there to also do some damage to you. Like, you can't even do anything yourself. The Guardian does everything. Literally everything. It's kind of sad. But anyway, with the fight itself, I like to use dueling to my advantage because it's so easy to start a duel against this guy. He plays with mostly eight sevens and sixes at the top of his deck, throws in some nines that you can easily avoid, zeros, man, whatever. But if you can keep your deck fully loaded, and just shuffle between these three cards. You can start a duel with him. And this does a few things. One, it does a lot of damage up front. Two, it puts down both of your stocked cards. And sometimes you can't see what cards he's even got stocked. So like right there, I just took his cards down. What if he was actually holding up a very powerful slight? All of his moves from Kingdom Hearts 1 are back. So like this, th this is just easy to dodge. Just get out of the way, no problem. But then that move where he's like, take this. And then he just zips and slashes all over the stage. In Kingdom Hearts 1, that wasn't so big of a problem because either one, you could dodge or two, you can guard and counter him and then start fighting again. There's no guarding in this game. So that's like the only really bad move. The rest, you could just dodge. Like, keep your distance and stay away, and then keep dueling him, and you'll win by default just by trying to duel him. And you can also try to fight normally by breaking his cards and trying to get into darkness mode, stuff like that. But, like, if you have the option to tie one of his cards and just start dueling, why turn it down? There's nothing but benefit. It is almost impossible to lose a duel because, put it this way, uh, hold up. Oh, of course he plays another eight. Excuse you. Let me out of here. But see, like, one of his slights, I just dodge so easily. But, like, look. All right, I started the duel. Look at all these zeros and nines at the bottom of your deck. You have, like, two zeros and four nines uh, towards the bottom and then the middle of your deck. If you could start with those... Uh, I'm sorry. If you could start the duel in any way and then end with those cards, it's like a guaranteed win. So... Oh boy. All right, I just want to get a heal up. There we go. And it did a little damage too, which is kind of funny. I don't know why I bothered. Uh... Here we go. I don't know why I bothered reloading. That was one of the things that Mickey does for you. But here, even in darkness mode, uh, dueling is more powerful. So let's try this. Uh, well, if all the hits actually connect. Jeez, okay, I'm trying to do other stuff, but like I would love to use Dark Vira uh, Viraga or Dark Aura to finish this off, but he keeps playing the same card that I've got ready to play. It's so, like, I, I, I can't resist the temptation. I really can't, I'm sorry. All right, let me do this. Let me switch to Gene uh, Jafar. All right, let's try to get a dark ore off. Let's. Oh, jeez. All right, so he can't break me. I have to get healed. Perfect. Okay. Dark Viraga. Uh, you get over here. You stop it. Really? Why do you refuse the darkness? Because you suck.
this is. The end. This is hardly the end. Your darkness. I gave it all to you. My dark shadow lingers. Someday, someday, I will return! Sora. Kyrie. Gosh, Riku, I know you wanted to do this alone, but you don't mind getting a little help, do ya? So, Riku, what happens next? Are you going home? I can't go home. Not yet. It's still here. It's really faint, but I can sense him. So, I think his darkness may still have a hold on me. Your darkness belongs to you, just the same way your light does. Up till now, I thought darkness was something that should never exist. Then, I spent time with you and changed my mind. The road you chose, I didn't know. Light and dark, back to back. With you, I think they might meet in a way nobody's seen before. Wonder where that road leads. I'd like to see myself. I'd like to walk the road with ya. <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm really flattered. I don't know what to say. Gosh, Riku, you know you don't have to call me that now. We're pals. Fair enough, Mickey. What are you making me choose now? Between the road to light and the road to darkness. Neither suits me. I'm taking the middle road. Do you mean the twilight road to nightfall? No. It's the road to dawn.
and now we are officially done with Kingdom Hearts Rechanted Memories. That's it. Next up in the Kingdom Hearts series can be one of two different games depending on your outlook. You could do Kingdom Hearts 2 or you could do Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. In order of 1.5 plus 2.5, going from top to bottom, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days is next. So that's the next game I'm gonna LP. And then after that, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, Birth by Sleep Final Mix, Recoded, and then gonna cover Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Hope you guys enjoyed this series. The Platinum Trophy run will happen at some point or another. Just stay subscribed and follow me on Twitter and Twitch for updates on that. And you'll know when that comes. And if for some reason you miss it, the entire uh, video on demand will be put in this playlist. So I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And thank you to all my lovely patrons over on Patreon. Love y'all. See you guys next time. Bye bye.